Hello there, my name is Vladimir and in this video we're going to explore more with the creation animations with stable diffusion. You guys probably saw some of those images from previous my video or maybe somewhere else where we can take um, person or whatever we want it and kind of creating hidden the image. So kind of hide it. And after when I was working, like, you know, it will be interesting if we can take and animate this. If we can take these images and make animations out of them. And it should be very straightforward. So in this video, it's what we're going to do. We're going to take a, this video. And we'll try to create the animations based on this. So let's go ahead step by step. But before we jump into this, if you have any questions about how to do still images with this or what we've done before i'll put it link down below on my first video that maybe help you a little bit more in details but don't worry too much if you don't want to do this because i'm going very fast over all settings and what we need to do here to install to do this first for this we need to have it of course our libraries install it and we're going to use it control net so for the control net you want to go inside the extensions click on available Let's preload it our information and from here just type control net. Then go down, select SD control net. This one extensions, click install and it will install it. The one thing when you install control net, you probably want to click apply and restart after from your installed components. And I find out just closing and restart your server also necessary in this case. After this, I would recommend to install SD Web UI Q code toolkit. It's not necessary because all what we needed is just models. But if you want to create something more interesting, this is a very good library to have. As well, I'm going to use it Civit AI. Um, again, this is not necessary, but it's helping to control it. So the reason is why in Civit UI we can go and search for specific models and download them directly from here and install in your folders instead in other areas. And because we're going to use that QR code in as a model in control net, you can go install them manually also from directly CivitAI.com. You needed this model QR parent, or you can also use it like monster QR code. And all of these links will also provide down below for you. But I highly recommend if you want to familiarize yourself a little bit more with this, watch my previous video about how we done all of this step by step. It's, it will help you a lot to understand. So let's assume you install everything and we're ready to work. First, what we were going to do, it's using this text to image information. And let's go ahead and start bring some strings. So I'm going ahead and type all demons, whatever, um, just something more Halloween-ish, theme it, you know, all the stuff as negative, just not safe for work. And I'm going to actually use the DPM2 cars for this. And we're using deliberate as a checkpoint. And as we test rendering, we come up with something weird images and that is okay because this is will be kind of give us idea what we're going to do but it's not what it would happen because we're going to do work with our images and because we have it these animations we want to actually take frames and extract because we're going to utilize every frame every picture as our source and to take this on the pieces kind of extract from frames, we're going to use it shutter encoder. I will provide link down below for you to download this application. It's totally free. If you want to support creators, it will greatly appreciate it. But it is again, free applications and it's work excellent. So we take our video, we're going to put it inside. And from here, we're going to select our method. Let's go select JPEG. It's what we're going to do. Um, you can specify place where you want to put it or extract each frame and one on the right side be sure you select it create an image sequence from video this way you will create multiple also you will have it uh, frames how many frames per second usually it's after detect and tell you in this case it's 24 to 24 frames per second it's all what you need to do after you need to click on this button called start functions 
after it's completed you end up redirect with a lot of these files that is however how many frames was there the each individual image after frame extraction is completed we ready to use it for this we'll go expand our control net and we'll take our first frame or whatever frame you want it just drag and drop so we have it our reference here next we want to actually extract and one thing well extract or convert one thing i found out black and white images work the best with these techniques so they kind of can isolate it and if you can convert to good great shade that will work as well but um highly contrast i found the work a little bit better for me at least in this case so to do this we need to enable our preprocessor and we're going to use a threshold preprocessor right here with my threshold right there so we'll go use a threshold for this and let's go just set up a little bit more this way let's click enable pixel perfect pixel perfect probably the best use because it will let calculate size of the image for the control net itself allowed preview and let's click on this kind of like look sparky or spark and we can preview okay this is our image so i, I want probably a little bit more um, at threshold there you go when we have it very nice and clean face this is what i'm going after no maybe try more okay i think this is look very good and this is will be our image that we're going to process so as a model we're going down and select our qr code monster you remember when i should unload it you download it in your folder and again please watch that video below we explain step by step how you can download it and where do you need to place this if you don't know or forgot so and we'll just select this model here also i want to increase my weight a little bit more to maybe 1.3 or 4 play around see because the more weight the more you will see kind of picture inside and the less weight the more kind of will be hidden so you kind of play around with this see which one come up okay we enable the control net more important in this case and let's set maybe our width uh let's go with uh, maybe 768 because this is wide screen and it's what we're doing going to create kind of white screen i will go with 35 steps when i finally will render i probably will increase resolution and will increase steps also within height what i found out um, if you're too low you don't have enough details and many times when i create i create 1024 and higher so for example we can go 1024 here and we'll go with maybe one four eight zero something like that you can play around with different settings see which one is working but they will also settings heavily depend on what video card you have it how much vram you have it inside okay so we select this one let's go with this cfg drop down maybe 5.5 okay just verify our text to verify our settings verify settings here and we're ready to click on the preview okay and here our image and you can see definitely the face of this kind of opening here long hair look very interesting and we have our halloween shape kind of hiding things the reason is for creating first image because you can run to different iterations find one that you like at this specific civilizations and then we can click on this recycle button and use it this seed the using seed will help us to give it consistency with a background on this image so after we select our image we run through multiple tests to find which one you like it maybe play a little bit with the settings when you satisfy with image and you say okay i'm ready right now to process what we need to do is going in control net click on a batch and right here we need specified directory where those frames are located and in my case it just copy paste and that's all all what we need to do now you can go ahead click on generate and go take a long break because depend on what gpu you have it depend on many other factors it may take quite a bit time the video what i'm going to show you based on this video and it took me about three hours to create this image of course as an output it was creating as a steel images so after all these three hours in complete and you have this image kind of created it's kind of interesting if you're squinting your eyes you can definitely see the 
portrait. I, I like how hide. Maybe you know need to experiment with other stuff. But anyway, let's go back. When you're done and you have it all of those frames, you want to go back to our uh, shutter encoder. Let's click on the clear. And next, we need to go select all these files, drag and drop them right here. Oh, this is actually wrong ones. Okay, and this one is correct. Just need to put it in the right directory. Okay, 393 files. Next, I want to go down and select encoding H264, which is will be MP4. Before we uh, start working, you want to go inside the right here where it says image sequence, expand and enable active uh, activate the image sequence and same frame as before 24 frames so in this case it will create them together the one animations from all of those images and this is operation usually take no time at all after it's completed you should have it these nice animations or whatever you come up with well that's all it should be very simple straightforward have it very fun i did play a little bit with the forum and create another ones by utilizing kind of interesting techniques with a different type of animations but that will be different time for those videos thank you for watching be sure to subscribe to see new videos coming with animations other things please share this video let me know what you think and have a good